When Rob Becerra was hired as the New England Revolution's Director of Youth Development in April 2021, he was immediately presented with an objective. A talented teenager from Connecticut had been making waves with Oakwood Soccer Club, and the Revs saw potential. When I showed up here to the Revs, my first task was to recruit Peyton Miller into the club. The process had begun. I jumped on the phone early days. We had conversations, and the positioning was he was a forward. Miller not only joined the Revs, but he excelled in an attacking role, leading the under-15 team with a remarkable 25 goals and 28 appearances, while adding five goals in nine games with the under-17s. But as the Revs thought about Miller's future, they also started to think outside the box. And as the transformation began and we saw a chance for him to make the national team, we wanted to start moving him to left back. It was the easiest way to get him on the squad. Now, I have to say, Peyton was a reluctant servant. He did it, but he did it reluctantly because the kid loves to score goals, but he embraced it, gets into the national team, gets called back again, and then his trajectory has taken off because now he can play left back, left forward, he can play on the right side. All of a sudden, this guy can play multiple positions and he has just, like a rocket, has shot it out of space and he's crushing it. Well, when he arrived, he had a lot to learn. He was a, a, real, a real talent, athletically gifted. Um, but he needed to be taught the details of what it takes to be a player at the highest level. And uh, Rob Becerra and our academy staff did an amazing job with that. And over really a one year period, his transformation was, was really incredible. And he scored a lot of goals, but most importantly, became hard to play against. And that means like he was good on the defensive part of the game because a lot of times these really gifted attacking players, it's all about just attacking. But at the highest level, you have to play both sides of the ball. Every challenge the Reds placed in front of Miller, he cleared, and oftentimes much quicker than anticipated. This past March, he became the youngest player to make his pro debut with Revolution 2. And less than three months later, Miller became the youngest homegrown signing in Revolution history at 15 years and 216 days old, two months younger than Diego Fagundes when he was signed in 2010. I think I felt all the emotions when I found out that I was going to be a professional soccer player because it's been a dream of mine since I was a little kid. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity. I mean, it's a surreal feeling. Um, I'm very happy that I'm able to do this at this age, and it just shows what hard work can do for you when you put in the time and effort. Miller's family has seen that hard work and sacrifice firsthand, from the rec fields in Unionville all the way to the Revolution's first class facilities here in Foxborough, where Peyton is part of the club's residency program. He has loved soccer uh, from a very, very little kid. He grew up on the soccer field watching Logan play soccer. Um, he's been kicking a soccer ball since he was 18 months old. And uh, he's literally had a soccer ball at his feet his entire life. So um, he's always had it. It's honestly crazy just watching him, you know, grow up from playing rec, like my mom said, um, at five years old, up to where he is now, signing a professional contract at, um, you know, 15 years old, it's, it's, it's crazy to think about. Kindergarten, he talked about being a soccer player when he grew up. Fourth grade yearbook and his little quote was that he wanted to be a soccer player for New England Revolution. Um, so this is pretty surreal that it's all come full circle and he's literally living out his dream every day. The Millers knew that Peyton had a special talent at a very early age. And when he joined the Revolution Academy, they began to realize that talent might lead to a future. So when the Revolution approached Peyton and his family with a professional contract, they were prepared for that conversation. The Revs brought us in and gave us a timeline of what they thought he would make it as a, an athlete. But as far as the decision goes, it was never our decision. It was always Peyton's decision to, to do this and we're just here to support his decisions. There's no question that Peyton has accelerated that timeline and he'll be on an MLS Next Pro deal for the rest of 2023 before officially joining the first team roster as a 16 year old in 2024. But there's still plenty of developing to be done and that means plenty of work still remains. And Miller is ready to tackle that challenge each and every day. They've been telling me to keep working hard and that's what I'm gonna do is keep working hard every day on and off the field. We wanna get him as many games as possible in the next year and a half so that he positions himself um, to be able to contribute with our first team. So it's kind of that simple. And um, every player has their ups and downs and it, it, for every player it, it happens differently. Um, so we don't have a crystal ball on how it's gonna happen with Peyton, um, but he's got a very high ceiling and we're just gonna, we're, you know, we're, we're putting him in, into our system and, and just trying to give him as much information and, and help him 
to develop as quickly as he possibly can.